Jenny, the trainer, and I've been getting those. She's like Satan's little helper. And this morning, it's Haley was nauseous and had ch- fever and chill or chills last night. I'm like, here we go. <laughs> but you'd never know. Huh? Yeah. And and Garrett sent me a gif of Michael Jordan draining a three. So anyway. Oh. All right. Go ahead. She's all yours. Haley, this is uh, Birdie from Tiger TV. Um, how does it feel to now have 10 tens in a season career? I mean, would you say you achieved all your goals this season? Um, definitely not achieved all my goals. I know this team wants to go so many more places, but I'm, it's an honor to have co- accomplish what I did tonight. But we're still going, and I want to do everything for this team. So we're not done yet. Yeah, Haley, I guess, can you just describe that feeling when you're just in a, in a zone, just in, in a rhythm like that? I definitely told myself before I went, I knew I didn't feel the best, but I said just do what you do every single day. Go on autopilot and do what you do day in and day out of the gym, and it paid off, and I'm just so proud of this team and so Wait, proud of where we're going. You didn't feel the best? You told before. me five times during the meet you I were good. Not the best, but it was good. Okay, don't lie to Jay. I didn't. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> not the best, but good. Right, it was good. Right. And I know one more thing. I guess when you hear that you are now the program record holder for career perfect tens, I guess what does that mean to you? It's truly an honor. I have wanted to come to LSU since I literally watched the first LSU gymnastics meet on TV and just breaking the record in there and just tying for so many amazing things with so many amazing people out there is just truly an honor and I would not want to be anywhere else. Um, so you have that pressure, I guess, of going first two tens and then – so how do you try and manage that off once you get to beam, trying to do your normal stuff? What yeah. do you have to do? I just told myself to do what I do every single day in the gym. Go on autopilot. No more effort, no less effort. Do what I do every single day. Be normal out there. And I knew it would pay off if I was normal. Uh, Jay, you've been around the sport for a, a, a while, I guess. What does that individual performance rank? Mm. Well, officially, there's maybe one that was better by score, but I don't know that I've ever seen a more complete four event from, um, you know, with the way things are today. You, you to get three tens in one meet, uh, that's insane. And, and um, no, she's um, she's an all-timer, y'all. I mean, you, you're sitting you're, – you're witnessing – you're witnessing absolute greatness. And um, – I'm just glad she's on our team. That's all. I, I tell her that all the time. You know, um, we've got a lot of great kids, and, and um, you know, so many have stepped up. Um, but I, I, I believe so many have felt they could step up in large part due to the steadying force that, that Haley is. You know, it, it calms everyone down. They don't feel like they have to be Superman because they know that, you know, we've, we've got Haley – uh, there and and that's not always fair to Haley, um, but she handles it with such poise and, and grace and humility. It's just it's uh, I, I, I I'd be hard pressed to be more proud of an athlete in in my coaching career. Uh, <clears throat> you said you know you you had some aches and pains this year. You, know, you, you, you could you could have been like, nah, I, I don't want to go the all around. But was this, was this very different today? Did you feel like, mm, or are you like, no, there's no, no shot. I'm going to go out there and do all four events. If I can stand up, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I just want to do my best for this team. I'm willing to do anything they need me to do, and I'm going to put my best foot forward and do my best gymnastics for them. Either of y'all can answer this. I guess just how enjoyable and, and fun was today. Not just you know Haley's record breaking performance, but to have you know, the seniors go out the way they did and Alona she gets her career high on the floor. Just how how enjoyable was today? It was amazing. Just celebrating those seniors because they have done so much for this program. They're leaders. They work so hard every single day in the gym. Just I look up to them in every single way. So just celebrating them out there was so much fun, and I'm so excited to continue and go to the postseason and keep climbing. I, I would agree. They. Those seniors, you know, Alona was really 
um, the one that, that got to compete. Cam Cam got to do an exhibition tonight on bars. But um, behind the scenes, those seniors have meant so, so much. And not even behind the scenes. They've competed over their careers, and they've done amazing things. But um, the, thing that, the thing that makes them so special is the character. Even in the face of their own adversity this year, whether it's Kaya or Kai or anybody else, the, the way they conduct themselves and the way they've supported their team and the way they've never once sat – and and in self pity and that's um, that's pretty special you know you don't you don't get that all the time especially from uh, from young people and um, the, not one time have they made it about themselves when they've when they've had um, adversity and so they made a great deal and um, that that also allows people to go out there and compete comfortably because they don't feel like you know <clears throat> they're taking advantage of someone's misfortune they're just going out and doing their thing. Haley, I, the only sport I was ever any decent at was golf, so I'll use a golf <laughs> analogy. A lot of times, a guy is practicing a putt or something like that, or, or a young lady. This is to win the U.S. Open. This is to win the Masters or something like that. Do you ever did, grow up and say, "This is to get a ten, or "This is to win the gold medal"? I mean, did, did, and did you ever env envision a meet like like this where you did you could score so well and you had three tens? Um, I definitely don't like think about scores or what the judges are going to do. I kind of just go out there, do what I do every single day in the gym. And whatever the judges do is what they do. Control what I can control. And I know if I do my normal gymnastics like I do every single day in the gym, it will all pay off. She does a masterful job of not allowing those things to get in her head, you know. The, this round on bars, that hasn't changed, has it? It changed last year. We, put it, in, we put it in last year, so it's, it's a double front with a half. I happened to go over and talk to Bob during the meet. I said, he said, this. I, it looks really hard to go from facing the beam to finishing 180, yeah. but he said it's actually easier because it's, it's not Easier blind. to land, yeah. It's easier to really land because she can, can see, see the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's more impressive to watch. It's more impressive to watch. You know, her freshman year she did a just a plain double front, and we knew – I don't like those – those you know, Aaliyah still has one that's a blind landing and but if I have choice I try to stay away from blind landings but um with Haley we, it, she had trained it I think in club for a while before she came here but not really competed it so we just stayed with it for a year and just kept kept working it until she could get it at the end of the routine and we put it in last year and and since then you've seen that landing become super consistent and that's why because as she makes that half turn she can spot the floor and that 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 makes it a much easier landing to execute. I would <coughs> get you to talk about now that you're the end of the regular season and you're going into the postseason. You've had nine straight scores of 197 plus. You've had two over 198. You're 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 obviously your average is really up there. Yeah. You're on a roll, uh, but without all these gymnasts. Who could be competing for it? Did you could you have imagined getting to this point without some of the people who you now don't have? What, what, what do you think has gotten how you, how have you? Able to yeah, I mean, I, I tell them all the time. None of you are here because you can't. Um, you, you're here because you can, and um, you know there's, you know, obviously when you're you're missing s some people that no one would argue were some of our our best performers, but it's an opportunity for somebody else to to jump in and that's that's been the strength of this team is that they really understand and believe that when their opportunity comes the next person up they take advantage of it and they've um and they they do it for the right reasons which is interesting it's a, it's a huge part of this that our culture plays a lot into um that mindset because they're they're out there doing it for each other and when you're out there doing it for yourself that's a trap and we've seen you know gymnasts over the years that get caught up in the idea of I got to get a 10 or I and you know the whole me thing um, is not something we do uh, it's it's a hundred percent we in everything that we do and and the, and they've bought into that they believe that and so when you can do that that frees your mind to compete aggressively and be and be more effective and more consistent because you're doing it for each other and and uh, I really think that the strength of this team has been that they believe that um, I don't, I, I don't know that I would have thought one way or another. I just knew that we were going through some adversity and, and, um, and, you know, we couldn't bat an eye. We had no choice but to to move, continue to move forward. And, um, 
I'm just so proud of them. You know, you, I hurt for the kids that have been injured and the things that have gone south. But at the same time, they're getting joy out of watching their teammates rally and do what, do what they're doing. But as we tell them every week, and Haley can attest to this, the top of one mountain is the bottom of the next. And, and so tonight's a great night. And, uh, but now, you know, we'll enjoy this tonight. Go celebrate the seniors over at where we're going. I don't, I don't want to advertise that, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but, uh, but we'll, you know, and then we, and then we, then it's on to SECs. I'm just, I'm really pleased. I'm, I'm really pleased that they're, they've fought their way into being a position to be the number two seed at, at SECs. I think that's a tremendous accomplishment in the, in the face of, the things that uh, that they've had to endure, um, and all the credit goes to them. They 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 just won't quit, and they're tired. They have to be. Um, but we we try our best to acknowledge that we're fatigued, but not dwell on it, and and keep moving forward. Jay, the 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 end of January uh, looked a lot different than the beginning of March. Um, the distance that's been covered, the ground that's been covered since going back to, say, Kentucky to today. Is there, are, are there words to describe the leaps that the team has taken since that time and, and what it took communally as an organization to pick yourselves up from that? H Haley, I see you nodding your head. You, does that mean something to you from where you were that particular night to where you are today? Yeah, it's just like I'm just so proud of this team. Like. We definitely could have gone into to a hole and just given up, but we knew what we wanted to do, and we knew we had still had amazing people on this team that were going to get their opportunity to compete, and they've all stepped up, and I just could not be more proud of this team, and I could not be more honored to be a part of it. Yeah, the, I, I would echo that. I think the the, the character of this team, um, lesser teams with lesser would have folded their tent, you know. Uh, um, they, they just didn't. That's all I can say. They just – they refused um, to believe anything other than what we were trying to do. And they believed in everything. They believed in the fall when we when we changed some things up. And they – you know, th I've been around teams that would have complained about that. And um, not this one. They, they just – and they, as I've mentioned earlier in Scott's question, I, they do it for the right reasons. They do it for each other. And they do it for LSU, and that's they're they're proud of LSU. They're proud to be at LSU, and it, and I don't know why you wouldn't be if you look at what that they're doing, and you come into this arena and you see those fans. I mean, what recruit anywhere in the country wouldn't want to be a part of this um, with with what has gone on? Now we hadn't done anything yet, so let's not you know let's not act like we won the Super Bowl, um, but uh, but we're moving in the right direction. And it's exciting to watch them. I love watching them. I, I, when the adversity strikes, I've gotten to a place where I kind of throw my hands. I, I, I'm a control person by nature. I guess a lot of coaches may be, but I've learned that I can trust these guys. You know, and as a coach, that's a that's a good place to be. That I don't have to over speak. I do anyway sometimes, don't I? <laughs> but, 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 but I can I can step back and I can let them do their thing and I can let our coaches do their thing and I don't have to, um, and so it's a it's a refreshing place to be a, as a coach right now. Certainly, we would love to have everybody healthy. We'd love to have our full boat, um, but under, you know you just you can't you can't say enough about this team and the character that they show. Um, so, correct me if I'm wrong, did we have an adjusted four routine from uh, Finnegan tonight? Did we cut that third pass? We did. Is, um, was that due to her illness, or was that just an adjustment we're well, making going it, forward? Well, it was partially because of that, because she had, you know, she was she came back in the gym. We didn't do much with her Monday at all. I don't think we did anything. Um, um, and so she was a little weak from being ill, and, you know, I don't want to be – obstinate or hard-headed her her feet were starting to bother her a little bit and she's got uh, a history of some problems with her feet from way back so uh, McCool and I court and I just talked about it and 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 um just thought look uh, we don't we, what are we trying to prove you know she goes out there and does that double Arabian and the two and a half 
punch front and really the last pass, the choreography of the ending of that thing adds more to the routine than the last pass does. So we just thought, I don't know if we'll stay that way. She likes doing the three passes. It's something that, that she, uh, that she likes. So, um, she's, it's easy for her to go back and forth. So we really don't, we really will make a kind of a week to week decision on what we do there. But that was a good observation. <laughs> That it? Thank you. Thank you, guys.